ha, Man United win again. Uh, not getting too excited. It is Man United after all. Kings and Queens, members of the Wasteman Mafia, welcome back to the Force Official. This is your boy Rome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please drop a like on the video. Subscribe somewhere down there if you're new. Drop a comment down there as well. We'd love to know what you think about the video and what you think about the content. And just before we get into talking about Manchester United today, not only Manchester United winning against Real Sociedad, but the next game coming up against Newcastle, which I'm very worried about, knowing that our form in the Premier League is very poor and Newcastle perennially always gives us a game. Before we do that today, we're going to slide right into a new little topic. So let's slide right into a little segment that I like to call Debunk the Junk. And basically what this is, we find a lot of bull crap stories, a lot of bullshit topics on social media and really bring out the truth behind them and let you guys know that, hey, this really is shit. So don't you pay it any, any attention. And the very first one we're going to touch on today is this particular tweet that i saw regarding the new plans from the fa and it's basically saying that the fa now has plans to ban players for life if they in any way abuse officials in the game so for a game like football where it's just filled with emotions so what you're telling me is this basically you're going to take the emotion out of the game players on the field are not allowed to express themselves anymore verbally to referees or to officials when they feel like they've been wrong which is absolutely stupid if you think about it because the game is filled with emotion these players are, are, are they, this is their profession they train work hard put their bodies to shit every week just so they can win a game and win for their fans and you're telling me that players are not allowed to express themselves on the field you're taking the emotion out of the game we really would like to know what exactly do you mean by abuse because it seems as if you're taking this very serious a lifetime ban means the punishment has to match the crime yeah so what exactly do you think is abuse telling the referee that he's been bullshit cussing him out is that abuse i don't know what merits a lifetime ban that's the question that we need to ask the, the, these officials this, the fa and then we also need to step back and ask if the crime matches the punishment then you would think trippier got banned for half a season for breaking betting rules this man can't play again for the rest of the season can't help his team you know he won't get selected for his country right which means and it says to us that the fa and fifa pays a lot of attention to betting and betting rules because that's what gets, makes him the money right you break the betting rules you get banned you get punished so how much attention are they really paying to racist and racism in football they allow players to take the knee you know give them just enough you know give the people just enough so that they think that we're really addressing the issue when you're really not bro if the punishment is actually supposed to match the crime why is it that for racially abusing patrice evra luis suarez only get banned eight games why is it that john terry only get banned four games luis suarez got charged for 40 something thousand pounds that man was making over hundred thousand pounds a week how is it that that crime is not necessarily holding up to the punishment or is it that the governing bodies don't necessarily consider racism and racism in football to be that much of a crime they're just doing off so that the people who are watching the game can somehow feel comfortable by saying yes we're doing what we can this politician bro this just politics in football are they really doing as much as they can or is it that the punishment for racism in football is nowhere near the severity that you get for cheating in betting bro or is nowhere according to the fa anywhere close to being equivalent to you so-called abusing referee or officials in games a lifetime ban if you abuse the official at the game but you get eight games four games Cavani got three for his misunderstanding in terms of the word that he spoke and a couple th couple hundred thousand or a couple thousand but nowhere near a lifetime ban bro why is it not that which is why for me standing sitting right talking to you today i support wilfred zaha 100 percent zaha say you will no longer take a knee because taking the knee is kind of like a false flag bro it's for them to show the rest of the world that hey we're actually doing something about racism in football when they're really not they're really not it's a false flag i'm not into it bro if this rules really goes into play about banning players for life if they abuse officials not even saying what type of abuse they're not saying oh if you racially abuse official we're gonna ban you for life just abuse so verbally abusing them you're gonna get banned for life because it's an official but someone can racially abuse you in the game in the stands and all they get is a ban for four games and that's it we need to start pulling these 
dreads, bro. We need to stop having these people piss on our heads, bro, and tell us that it's raining. Bullshit. Bullshit. Back to the whole idea of this taking the emotions out of the game. You're asking players to not respond to referees when they think referees has been bad or horrible. Absolute shit. When was the last time you have sex and tell your girl, hey, babe, you know what? It's okay if I don't orgasm. I'm good. I don't need a nut. I don't need a nut. It don't make sense, bro. The game is all about emotion, which is why we love it. It's an emotional game. Bull fucking shit, bro. But back to the reason why you guys decided to watch us today is Manchester United. Can't say that I'm too excited about winning in the Europa League because we've seen over and over where we're putting a great performance one week and then the next game we're just absolute shit. And yes, Real Sociedad, in my perspective, is not much to talk about because they played right into our hands. You have the best counter-attacking team in all of God's green earth and you're going to play a high line against them. Doesn't make sense. Even Liverpool, the team that can hold on to the ball as best as anyone else in the world, had to sit back a little bit guarding against Manchester United counter attack. And Sociedad think they're going to go to Turin and play a high line and come out with a victory, bro. That don't make no sense. They played right into our hands, which means it's not, we as Manchester United fans should not get too gassed about that 4 0 win. Because guess what? We're going to play Newcastle on Sunday and these men will not play a high line. These men will sit back and try to catch us on a counter or get a one lucky corner. So we need to see our team coming back breaking down low blocks and getting the victory we don't have Pogba we might not have Cavani we might not have Van de Beek which he didn't play on a regular basis anyway we need to see our teams working hard moving the ball fast breaking these low blocks because that's the only way you can break a low block move the ball fast before they can recoup because I'm guarantee you see Bruce is going to play five in the back I'm praying to God John Joe Shelby get a buck up goal that's his game our Wilson we need to see I need to see Sunday us working hard moving the ball fast to break down that low block that's basically what I have to say about that. Because at the end of the day, Manchester United, the only way we're going to show ourselves this year if we give City a five for the title. These men are already 10 points ahead of us. And rough. Rough, 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 rough. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Big up on yourself. Take care of yourself. Looking forward to the game this weekend. Glory, glory, Man United. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe somewhere down there if you're new. Stay warm. Stay safe. Protect yourself. Protect others. Wear a mask. Manas.